Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. In reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Taurus. Welcome, gang. Happy birthday. Let's get into our bonus read. I hope you all are well. Thank you for your support. Let's see if you were new here. Thanks for checking me out. What does Taurus need to know? Spirit, what's the tea for Taurus, please? What we got? Take it resonates only, y'all, from these multiple scenarios. We got spontaneous headed towards you. Somebody getting fired up. They getting enthusiastic to do something new. What is you? For Taurus, what we got? Angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Test tube, early stages of making an offer. All right, somebody want to try you out, Taurus. What is you? Mm, it could be getting to know you with test tube. Let me see what you about. Okay, let's see how you react to this, how you react to that. Somebody could be testing you, Taurus. All right, what is you? For Taurus. They nervous, too. There's a male here sitting here thinking, looking outside. Okay. Hmm, We're going to clarify. What else? I'm nervous for what? Falling in between the two, manifesting. Ooh, I like that card. They are nervous about what is to come in their life, what they're expecting. Hmm, test tube and manifesting. It's giving plans, preparation. They're nervous about it, though. Some of you could be manifesting um, new beginnings in life, like a new business with test tube, trying something out. You're nervous if it will pan out. Same situation for a relationship. Someone could be manifesting you. Taking it slow, testing the waters. We got let's get married by jagged edge. Lord have mercy. Child, somebody manifesting you towards an issue. When you think about something over and over again, you begin to manifest it. So watch your thinking. Somebody, okay, we're going to say let's get married. Who's Taurus? Oh, Lord. Falling over test to gamble. Aries got this. I'm an Aries moon, Mercury, and Venus. So, some of y'all could be on a cusp. Some of y'all could have Aries in y'all's birth chart. Gamble about to take a risk to see you. And it fell off a test tube. It's like I was saying over there how Stella or how Steve got their groove back. Someone wants to see where this goes. Test tube, gamble. They don't know what your reaction will be. Some of you did somebody from your past. They don't know if you will let them back in. They nervous. They've been manifesting you. Okay. All right, let's see what else. Some of you is something I'm brand new, which could lead to marriage. <laughs> Tap the fuck in, cause I just said testing the waters, Charles. And some of y'all they testing the water waters, or they tried you out. Okay, or you can try somebody out, seeing how far they can push you. Now, some of you, someone is testing you, testing your patience, gamble, trying to see. That's childish. For some of you, it's spiritual with this with this wine here. I ain't want to get into that. Somebody could be playing Harry Potter in your energy. Okay, but we're going to clarify so we ain't got to speculate. So I ain't got to speculate as y'all's reader. No one exists when you are around. Y'all get lost in each other's energy. They enjoy your presence or you theirs. I just said somebody was testing the wildest. Somebody got that wop. <laughs> Look. Yeah, he got his fingers in that water. All right, anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Someone could be learning from you with this page of pentacles. They want to be more consistent. Mm, I feel like someone's learning from you because the page of pentacles is a student. They could be learning lessons. That's unfortunate because that's, that's tedious, but that's how I go. Someone's learning lessons too. Or they've learned a lesson. Let's see. Take a stand, stand your ground. Some of y'all need to protect yourself and your connection with your person because there's some magic here. Okay. Test two for tour. What's the energy with the tarot? Why does four, where does four wands come from? 
I'm gonna put it right, right on over here. That's four wands. It's eleven, eleven. One wine, one wine, one wine, one wine. Eleven, eleven. Commitment, home, celebration, marriage with jagged edge. It's marriage. Aries energy. King of Cups is inspired by you. They admire you. They're charmed by you. Or this is you. You're this King of Cups. This man is falling for whoever this is. Or you're this masculine. King of Cups wants to test the waters with you, Taurus. Or you're this King of Cups. This is a very compassionate, diplomatic, loving energy. They're nervous. Let me break this card down. I don't teach no more. Let me start back teaching. There are tools behind this throne. Very symbolic. For even though I sit on a throne surrounded by water, I'm very emotionally, I'm very much so emotionally intelligent because water is emotion. I have tools to defend myself because I've gone through a lot. The King of Cups goes from the Page of Cups to the Knight of Cups to the king of cups which also is one fraction of an emperor all four kings makes an emperor this masculine they are in this energy of being emotional and tell emotionally intelligent because they have gone through things they're defensive or they have <laughs> they have tools behind their throne someone may think that they're a softy but they are ready for war you're gonna get axed you're gonna get hammered you're gonna get <laughs> they're ready to fight don't think this man is soft now for some of you this person may be worried how they're perceived oh if i start acting and showing like i'm in love what people gonna think of me he got tools to kill a motherfucker so hopefully that ain't it but yes the, the card is very symbolic for being prepared for anything then i got lma naked i need somebody that loves me naked i feel like this king of cup damn it here we have the star naked i feel like this king of cups has been reborn mm -hmm. some of y'all don't wear makeup they like that or oh, this shoe one more for this king of cups test to eight of cups what do you walk away from pisces energy he walked away from wait a minute we got magician energy here hard chariot he tried to create something with somebody else he had to walk away from it or oh, somebody doing magic to get this person to walk away from you they're playing with their emotions spiritually oh my god making them nervous and afraid to come towards you or this is what's happening to you someone's playing in magic to manipulate your emotions oh my goodness they're yeah test two they're trying things magician they're playing with this king of cups is emotions or you're this king of cups playing with someone else's emotions that's a twist what's the magician <clears throat> Page of Wands, good news, enthusiastic, headed towards you, energy, excited, flirty ticks, free flowing, energetic, a traveler that could travel for work too. They could be a singer as he's stepping up to this microphone, or you could be. It's a wine, but I can see it as a microphone too. What's this um hey, I mean, magician for tours? Virgo and Gemini energy, the Queen of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles, caring, nurturing, giving. Okay, so you or this person has been given to you. You have been very giving, warm, nurturing, affectionate, motherly. It's not like, it's like instinctual. Like you just know how to care for someone or they know how to care for you. It comes natural. You've inspired this person to walk away from anything that is opposing to that. The Eight of Cups is also emotional intelligence. This Queen of Cups is a psychic with this owl on the back of her throne, which speaks for divine wisdom. Wait a minute, Spirit. This D shit. What's, what's the thoughts of this King of Cups with this test? I'm still on one card. <laughs> what's this? Test two, King of Cups. What is he talking about thinking? Our story isn't over yet. Hmm. For some of y'all, does somebody want to pick it back up? Or they want to pick up from how things were left when y'all fell off? Or to pick it back up is like putting themselves back out there after a period of not dating. They're nervous. One more for this King of Cups. This is also someone that can't let y'all go for some of you. Or you this person that 
You can't let go after someone walked away from you. Cancer got this energy. Please forgive me. Wow, I feel empty without you. Wow. Child, you always on my mind. I feel terrible for hurting you. Win. So, <laughs> so is, some of y'all dealing with somebody simply wants to right their wrongs and do right by you. I fucks with that. Or this you. Let's see. Watch out for who it might be, though, because somebody toxic for some of y'all with the magician. What's this nervous for Taurus? High priestess and the sixes. <laughs> I'm triggered by this. Some of y'all psychic and this makes your person nervous. <laughs> Some of y'all psychic, high priestess, and this scares the shit out of them. Or it makes them nervous. Like, what, what, what the fuck do they be knowing? <laughs> y'all could be in the public out, child. Somebody said shirt hard as fuck. Okay, turn up on my community board. I got multiple shirts I'm about to launch. This is just like one of them. Anyways. Some of y'all, this person has some things repressed that they're trying to move away from, move out of, heal that energy. Because the Six of Swords is on a body of water. It's also spirit guides. Um, they know a connection will be victorious with you. Some of you are in a public eye. What's this high priestess? Some of y'all was this person's mistress. What's this high priestess? They have some secrets. They're not telling you everything. What's this high priestess? What is she? The three of pentacles and the two of swords. They could have a choice to make between you and another for some of you. But they're choosing something. What's the six of swords? They're coming towards you. Look like, did y'all read? What is you? Six of swords. Son, they're moving towards happiness, fulfillment, joy, optimism, celebration, enlightenment. They're coming your way. What's the two of swords? What's the stagnancy and the hesitancy and the procrastination and the thinking and the stalemate? The three of swords and the three of pentacles. There was a heartbreak for some of you they had to heal. There's a third party for some of you they had to make a choice to. For some of you, they were simply in this energy of not being certain what they want because they were going through a healing phase. Whatever it was, was a secret or repressed. For some of you, a curveball, someone was doing a love spell. Which held someone's heart in place and blocked them from coming towards you, two of swords. Even though you were this person's happiness and fulfillment, fulfillment. We got divine feminine and divine masculine with the yang of the sun and the divine feminine of the high priestess. No matter what, three of pentacles, six of swords, this is moving forward, but someone's nervous. But some of you, again, they're not sure what you into with this, <laughs> with this high priestess and all of this other energy. They may, done, they may have thought some things to be very spiritual about you. However, y'all are divinely, spiritually high-ranking. High priestess, hierophant. Both of you are teachers. One is teacher in spirituality. One may teach about giving people faith, giving people hope, or just a natural-born leader. However it go. Some of y'all, both of y'all, could have been brought up in the church. Somebody ended up spiritual. However it go. What's underneath this hierophant? This is two divine, strong counterparts. The spirit is not playing about no spell work coming towards this person, coming towards you. Y'all also need to learn to defend y'all self spiritually too. Because this is spirituality with the hierophant. Another situation is there's someone behind the scenes trying to block and stop this very, very powerful, chosen by God, son, the hierophant and the high priestess, connection from coming together damn people don't want twins together because that shit is powerful okay that's exactly what that is the high priestess and the hierophant what's manifesting some of y'all somebody behind the scenes like a mistress or another like be <laughs> be arch that's into spirituality that's been trying to do a love spell on this person in secret and that person may not know or you may not know and love spells can be very subtle hair draws whatever i'm not gonna go down the run the line to give people ideas you just got to be mindful and your your awareness is one part of a way to break that shit that's not true love what's manifesting because that's exactly what someone's doing they've been manifesting somebody by the hands of a spell what's manifesting weird what's the chariot someone's coming towards you to invest in this connection long term and it's, it's definitely going to be very successful and it's going to pay off. Y'all have overcome a lot of obstacles and burdens. Y'all may have a past life in Egypt. You got, you rock my world. Then y'all get this last Taurus reading. 
that's a sign anyways y'all may have a past life in egypt these people are shackled but despite the shackles i feel like y'all are going through a healing journey together yeah i have i get a lot of people i'm getting ready to go live is it too late i'm getting ready to go live and talk about how um a lot of people point things at their significant spiritual other and they don't see the things that they need to work on but despite the obstacles and adversities, y'all are still coming together and manifesting each other. And part of the manifestation is reaping what you sow, putting out good energy, planting the right seeds so that they can grow and be very abundant. Two people coming together, twins, can manifest a great deal of success and wealth. Y'all are already chosen individually, but yeah. That's why there's so much spell work, so much envy, so many karmic partners, bitches throwing pussy, men trying to trick off and do all this other stuff to distract you from coming together with your spiritual other um have but yeah i see magic here someone's doing root work too in order to slow you down chariot you. what's this <laughs> what's the seven of pentacles for Taurus? i'm not ready what else i feel like i ruined everything Ah, the Seven of Pentacles is also patience. Because he's waiting on these seeds to grow. And it's also planning. What's the chariot? They're manifesting. Planning, patience, wait, timing, reaping what you sow. They're sowing seeds. Is this storm? Chariot. Give me words for the chariot. What's over? We're going to peek at these. I'm going to be pleasant. You are always on my mind. I feel terrible for hurting you. I abandon people to make myself feel important, but I feel empty without you. You make me want to be a better person. I have secrets and deception. Okay. Which means they may have hid how they truly felt. They may have tried to suppress this connection by dealing with other people, or they left you before you could leave them. They have been watching you from afar as well. I feel terrible for her. They could have chose someone else over you or just downplayed this connection. They hid how they really felt or what they were going through, which is uh, by far just not telling you why this connection wasn't working or why they didn't choose you at the time. Well, this is you. All right, spirit. I can handle a dump, but let's just... What's the chariot? Cancer energy. We got Taurus with the Seven of Pentacles, Libra, Three of Swords, Capricorn, Three of Pentacles, Aquarius, Six of Swords, Pisces, Cancer. Let's see. What's the chariot? This was just a fling. What else? I don't know what I want. So, what's the manifestation? That was the obstacle. The chariot is symbolic for overcoming obstacles. The obstacle was they didn't know what they want, and this was a fling. They want you to wait. They are planning something. What's manifestation? Okay. One more manifestation. I miss you. Why is there any missing to this connection? Is there a separation? I miss you. Why? What's going on? I still have growing to do. And destiny is taking us down different paths. So what's the end game? Shit, we having a whole conversation. What's the end game here with this manifesting? Finances are a problem. Jealousy and possessive. And I feel empty without you came out again. You made me want to be a better person. Oh, this is tricky. Ooh. So for some of you, they would like, we got this last time. They would like for you to wait, but they don't want you to wait in vain. When I say they would like for you to wait, it says, I'm not ready. Seven of Pentacles is patient and they're manifesting and they still have growing to do, but you make them want to be a better person. They even get jealous or possessive. Jealousy and possessive for some of you is, it's up there. But for some of you, it's just like, damn, I don't want to see them with nobody else. I couldn't bear to get online and see a picture of him or her with someone else that will break my heart or that will fuck me up. They ain't trying to see that. They ain't trying to hold you back, which brings me to I don't know what I want. So y'all may just be flinging. 
But the truth of the matter is there's a connection brewing and manifesting, but they still got stuff to do. You make me want to be a better person. I still have growing to do. You're always on my mind. They feel empty without you. So when this deep. So when they feel empty without you, instead of y'all coming together, which is taking time, y'all end up fucking. It's just a fling. They miss you. But when y'all start fucking and go, oh my God, I don't know what I want. So y'all go back to them pulling away. This is this is a lesson for some of you. For some of you, it's a flat out lesson. For some of you, it's more so of a twin flame connection that's cooking. It's a lesson regardless because if you don't like where you stand, then pull back. Like if y'all ain't having those adult conversations and y'all don't have an understanding about what it is and, and you getting upset, then pull back. But if y'all in a situation where you know where y'all stand, you know what they doing, they know what you're doing, y'all ain't neither one of y'all dating and fucking around with other people, y'all have a mutual understanding, okay, whatever. But for those that are getting upset and getting possessive and getting jealous, y'all going to have to handle that. Okay. And for some of you behind the scenes, someone keeps causing this disarray, this, this push and pull, this up and down. They're playing on someone's intelligence and emotions spiritually. More than likely when they go to sleep or when they have too many drinks for a day. Uh, wh whatever lowers your vibration, sadness, sorrow, depression, alcohol, too much alcohol will lower your vibration so when these people that know how to do all this weird spiritual shit get the astro traveling and doing spells and all of that and you vibe it low it'll hit you and you'll be like man i don't feel like fucking with them today i don't feel like talking to nobody i'm isolated like that type of isolation is separation it's a discord but it's all about awareness thank you for the conversation spirit because <laughs> i was about to dig in okay so let's see what the gamble is for some of you someone's manifesting you but the manifestations don't look like much at this time it's getting late with flow why you gotta be here what's gamble y'all may hook up late at night for some of y'all seven or one they, they said that's how you know somebody's serious about you they never want to see you in the daytime oh lord <laughs> what's gamble Somebody come in and take a stand. Leo energy. They could have Leo in their birth chart. Okay. Let me talk to this person. And a transformation to Emperor. Big Daddy. Okay. Let me stop playing. Some of y'all helping this person to heal. Beautiful. What's the gamble and the healing and the taking a stand? Some of y'all, this person like, you're not about to be with nobody. Mm-hmm. They're not going for that shit. They say, I'm going to do the work. Okay. What's Gamble? Oh. <laughs> one more. Ooh. One more for Gamble. Shit. Who this? <laughs> so, this person say... About to take a risk to see you. Why is my ear acting up? Gamble. The gamble is clarified with I'm afraid of commitment. Why you why you afraid of commitment, but you coming? Why you gambling and you afraid? They don't know what they want, but they know they want you. I know. I know. What? <laughs> they are also very intimidated by you. But some of that intimidation is how you make them feel. How does it? You've been helping this person to heal. So what it's given is, I trust you. I trust this connection. Even though I'm afraid of committing to you, I'm still coming towards you. Even though I'm intimidated by you, I'm coming in to take a stand for this connection. That's exactly what this is. It's like they want you to be patient, though. Because, they, listen, they kind of certain they kind of unsure. They kind of certain and they kind of unsure. That's, that's the confusion. <laughs> I'm reading this exactly how it is. They want you, but... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is exactly what's going on. Spirit, let's make this make sense. What's the seven of wands? Y'all listen. Lord, I'm telling you, this person is like, I'm coming to take a stand for this connection. Make it right. Take accountability. Do the right thing. But 
they scared. <laughs> Aries got this energy. What's the justice? This is funny. Because it's, it's like the emoji where your face melts to the side. <laughs> They're like, I fuck with you, but <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> This cute. What's the justice? Mm -mm. That's crazy. Justice. What they got to say with this justice? I miss you. You make me want to be a better person. They abandon people to make themselves feel important. When a justice shows up, it's because something has been imbalanced and unfair. It's time to balance it out. Some of y'all got a key with this person. Oh, y'all have a spiritual child. Mm, yeah. Y'all could be chosen. Anyways, taking accountability for abandoning you, giving up on you, pulling back from you, choosing somebody else over you. I told you, you've been helping this person to heal. Of course they're choosing you. Ain't no other who <laughs> hooligan. <laughs> what the fuck? That had to be an ancestor channel. <laughs> I'm around with it. Ain't no other hooligan taught them shit <laughs> but you. <laughs> Not hooligan. Oh, my God. <laughs> Child, what's testing the water? Oh, my goodness. What's the world? <laughs> what's the world? I am tickled. What color am I? Damn near pink. <laughs> Tickle pink. What's the test of the water? Six of Pentacles. This is balanced, y'all. Listen, hold up. I claim this type of balance in my love life. There's a scale there. There's a scale there. This person is coming to do right by you, Taurus. Taurus. Or oh, this shoe. What's this person got to say with testing the waters? They want to see. They want to date you. Or you want to date this person. <laughs> oh, my God. If y'all was just flinging. Rip. If you ain't listening. I mean, if you ain't watching, you just listen to me. I'm holding up a card that says, you the love of my life. With the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, this could lead to marriage or a proposal or great, a great deal of abundance when you two come together. They want to give to you. When you give, it will come back to you. I ain't got a Christian on y'all. What's the four of wands? That's, I'm not going to over clarify that. They want to be with you or you want to be with this person. It's been rocky. It's been shaky. It's been wobbly. It's been wiggly. But so what? What's the four wands? Stay, remain optimistic. King of Pentacles. Y'all dealing with another Taurus. Or you this Taurus. He said, put it on a make her want to marry me. Okay. Put it on her. Put it on him. Regardless. This is a twin for a lot of you. I'm telling you. Oh my God. This connection is getting ready to be so peaceful soul balance and some of y'all are earth angels okay some of y'all deal with the spiritual realm and the earthly realm some of y'all are balancing each other out this is giving 666 energy not satan the angel number of healing and harmony and balance okay you taurus have inspired this person to do the work to heal or they have inspired you and that's a beautiful thing this masculine has been working on his stability because he said he the married type. Okay. King of Pentacles in the full wise. What is you? What does King of Pentacles have to say? And what else? And what else? We got fire and desire. Fire and desire. <laughs> what this king of in? I gotta get off her. Fuck. What? Who? 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 Who is them? Oh. So you're the love of their life and a person of their dreams, and they think the world of you, and they would like to start over. For some of you, y'all could be at a distance, but they said friends and family disapprove of this connection and has been causing an interference in y'all's relationship. 
excuse me so negative energy on whoever they is okay for some of you they could have been cheating with you excuse me <coughs> shit <clears throat> forgive me y'all what is this negative energy i've been cool i ain't moved nowhere ain't nobody sprayed nothing okay and i'm not sick i don't get sick Okay, so I gave it to temptation. They could have cheated with you or cheated on you. Or the temptation could have been some kind of succubus or a hooligan <laughs> that came around in y'all's connection when y'all was dealing with each other or doing a little break that distracted them, that threw them off this connection. They say they sorry, and it's you that they want to commit to. It's you. Sorry for what? I'm sorry for 2004. They're going through a spiritual awakening. They realize and they have reflected on a lot. <clears throat> Judgment is a self evaluation, reevaluation, waking up, awakening. Huh. What they reflect on? They sorry for. Nosy. Empress. Oh my God. You the truth, and they realize you they other half, and they soulmate, king and queen of pentacles. Y'all would be very abundant if y'all got together. King and queen of pentacles, this is soulmate twin flame energy. They realize that you have been nothing but nurturing and giving to them. Well, this is you. You the truth. You speak the truth. You've given them a lot of clarity, and they now see things differently since they've encountered you. Or this is you. They are sorry for not seeing you for your worth. Or this is you okay or involving you in their life for some of you while they were married and she found out okay listen this connection will go at the pace it's supposed to go at in due time you need to have patience with them have patience with yourself or they need to have patience with you as you work on yourself however it go y'all working and healing on y'all selves individually will be the best thing for this connection coming together this is about a connection but i see a lot of money when this connection do come together lord king and queen of pentacles y'all both will be abundant and a stable home with the four of wands you making them want to be a better person or they're making you i'm seeing accountability i'm seeing truth i'm seeing motherfucking dedication devotion savings investments joy childlike wonder manifesting emotional intelligence great communication hold up now i feel we had soulmates already. King and Queen of Cups. Y'all are both intuitive. And y'all have a telepathic connection. Okay. Then I had the Empress show up when I was shuffling. And the Empress popped out. Okay. And I got the King and Queen of Pentacles as well. And it's going to be a balanced connection. But they got to clean up their life. I ain't forget they was coming towards you and they was here too, Taurus. I don't know what the title is read. But this y'all read, gang... That's all I'm on.